Uh, Matt, nice to meet you, man. Doing? I'm blue. Nah, I didn't know. Uh, all right, give me a breakdown of what it's doing. All sorry, right, now. So I was driving it. Probably seemed like a month now. So I was driving it back. Um, now, first, what happened is coming back from uh, on the highway, and uh, the battery didn't die, but it was kind of like it just kind of sputtered out a little bit, and it was still on when I uh, moved it to the side of the highway. Uh, so, so I come back, I leave it, come back the next day, someone stole the battery, and, uh, stole the battery, and I put a, uh, and I will say, and I what I will say also is the gas tank was open, and uh, my gas cap was threw out on the ground. I'm just letting you know the full info yeah. that I seen. It was threw out on the ground, but I checked to see if I seen any remnants or anything like that. There was no remnants, nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, but they they took the battery and clipped the wires, so we put some new wires on there to, uh, to um to put the uh, battery back on there. So we yeah. Put the battery back on there. As soon as we put the battery back in, brand, and we had to buy a new brand new battery, put a brand new battery back in there and start it right up. I was able to drop it right. I was able to drop it right off. And um, so I try to go to work the next day. And from, uh, on Sunday 1st, Garnett, I work at Woodland. I try to get out the highway. When I get out the highway, as soon as I get off and go right, getting out that little ramp, it kind of die. It, it dies down again um, uh, with still full power as well. And, um, so just the same way as yeah, before yeah but this time i started so this time i start it start it's starting right back up as i try to start it so I, as i try to start it it's cutting off as do as i uh was saying then i try to start it like while i'm gassing a little bit and i see that it's then started a little bit while it was being gassed yeah so it's then started a little bit while it's being gassed so i had to stay on the gas just to get out the traffic then i was like man i gotta make this work so i ended up making it to work stand on the gas as soon as i let off it'll die down yeah and then um well that's a good description of it we were Man, that sucks. <laughs> Someone cut your fucking battery. Yeah. Man, I, it was literally a day. Not even a full screen. Yeah, that's nuts. Hey, I'm for the north, but I like, man, I should have knew better than that on the east side. Before I was uh, uh automotive mechanic, I was a diesel mechanic, and I, mm -hmm. dude, I went to our construction sites, and people's taking out the. It's a 24 volt system, so you'll have four batteries, and they've yeah, oh, yeah. chopped the whole thing off and took everything fucking siphon the gas so and then on a diesel you got to prime them up dude so you're fucking sitting there for an hour just like uh, yeah, priming it the air out of the tank and yeah i did so crazy oh uh, yeah then i did hear about on, on those uh big rigs they do get like four to six batteries. yeah dude yeah. and they'll just take all of them Forklifts and all that. yeah and they'll just take them all freaking hey man they're bad now here bad they, uh, chances are they probably just tried to siphon your gas yeah, and wasn't successful, yeah. Because it's, I mean, they could be a dick and be like, hey, put some shit in his tank, but like, who really does that? Yeah, you know like, what I mean? They, they've been here before. They do this on the highway. Yeah. They did this to whoever did this for sure. Like, <laughs> they literally found a little peek in my door right here, popped it right here, just leaning out a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Popped it right there. Took it down. I'm like, man, y'all just had to take something because like, I just got the car not too long ago. It's like a little everyday job since my Tahoe broke down. I had to get something, you know. Yeah. So it's like I don't got nothing in here. Yeah. <laughs> like we gotta take something. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> we're not leaving empty-handed. <laughs> Alright, so the motor is not locked. So, I'm only seeing one issue here, ladies and gentlemen, so it's time to test that issue, which is this. So, and then this will actually cause a no start. It's a P0449. I'm going to go see if I can actually test the fuel system and see what we can gather from that. You don't think time chain went out on it? No. No, I'm the only thing that I'm getting. My my, uh, my partner said it might be a sensor, crank sensor. Well, no, I'm not getting nothing like that. Um, this is the only thing I'm getting, man. And these will actually cause no starts. So the EVAP system vent valve control circuit open. I'm seeing if I can go ahead and test it. T sometimes there's fuses for them, so I'm able to go right. up there and just test it up there. Um, but this one doesn't, man. There's no fuse for it. But that that'll actually cause a no start. And so and they they play a different they play a few different roles. Um, so he was driving and it shut off like it's running out of gas. Yeah, exactly. So if that's stuck closed, dude, then your there basically your fuel pump or your fuel tank itself is going to fill up with a shit ton of pressure. Like car hyperventilating. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, man. Yeah, that's a freaking great way to put it. Yep. Absolutely. 
Yeah, that's what my uncle said. He was like, man, you're going to need a hokey mechanic got a scanner. I'm like, he got, he got one. Oh, yeah, yeah. this thing is badass. Yeah. No, there's nothing from, I'm not getting absolutely anything from timing related. No crankshaft or no camshaft sensors, anything like that. Um, and I actually disconnected the battery and put it back so I could get a clear result on it on it Just in case anybody like cleared anything and yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, but there's nothing man So I'm just gonna do some tests on it. See what it allows me to do um, as of right now at the it needs to be replaced, but uh, I Want to you know be definite yeah. on that they stole my Tahoe out here on the east side and Transmission went out while they was as they stole it Oh damn, dude! Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! So I took it to the north side over mm -hmm. my uncle's one of his houses he owned to keep it stored until I got the money for the transmission, <laughs> and they stole it from there. Damn, shit, dude! How do y'all still look? Holy shit! Damn, dude! People were after it. <laughs> I went out to a call one time where a person said her vehicle was acting all funny and somebody stole a whole bunch of shit off of it. Wow! Hey, and here too, like it says your engine timing is zero, so you're good on there. Awesome, I found it. All right, so EVAP system, uh, vapor pressure. Look at that shit, 117. That don't even look right. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. 112 compared to 48 at the most. Yeah, dude, that's wild. Well, that at least now you know we have communication with it. It's just stuck closed. You yeah. know what I mean? So now I know that just gave me my answer on it, but that's what I was trying to check. When it does release all that pressure, it's gonna freaking stink, dude. Yeah, you're gonna smell that fuel and it's gonna sound funky, I bet too. That's gonna be a fun video. So you like, said you were gassing it to get to work and shit? Yeah. So just pushing it like that, I bet you were just fucking filling yeah, that pressure more up. More. Yeah, and just like a balloon. Eventually it just uh, cut out and won't start anymore. Yeah, I wonder if it swelled those bands out any. That's That'll be interesting. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify because I didn't want to. Well, because honestly, man, it had quite a bit of miles on it, so yeah, I didn't want to. Sure. I didn't. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't something else. And I, yeah, we'll have to do a few things. You know, I'll have to for sure fix that because yeah. that's dude terrifying. Because if it touches that, all this shit's gonna block. Yeah, I don't like that. I'll for sure get that done. Yeah, but I can do that. I'll do a good old solder on that bad boy, and we'll get for it. Sure. We'll get it fixed. I built one. Yeah, oh, oh shit, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, dude. No way. Oh my god. That's why I got it over here. Yeah. That's all the cars I built over there. Holy hell, dude. That's probably the coolest thing I've seen all year, man. This car, I drove it on the street. It was a 998. Shit, Everywhere. Dude. 